My name is Sophia. My name's Ben. Bernard. I'm Danny Gregg. Kirsten. This is the third in one city film. My name's Abdullah. This is Naimo. Miss Ryan Wande. Anton. Hello, my name is Warder. The main aim of In One City is to get different people from around Leeds together, use film as a way to bring people together and get people talking about the important issues, get, get people to connect together and tell their stories and kind of learn about one another. Who knows where hair is? Hands up. Kind of most of the people. <laughs> okay, you can drive there. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna quickly put you two against one another to find it, to race. Find hair hills on the map. Point to the word that says hair hills. Don't the challenges that I get when, when meeting people from um, different backgrounds, especially the young ones, um, is the fact that um, will we, uh, am I, am I going to be able to um, get on well with them? I face um, language cha challenges because my word, dictionary word is uh, small. I don't find it difficult to meet young people. I really don't face any challenges with meeting people from a different background than myself, really. As long as, you know, we get along. First time is very hard to get to know people. It's a bit scary meeting new people. I don't know what to say to them when you first meet them. The challenges I face in meeting other young people um, is probably like a kind of shyness. Also, there's not really enough incentives. Uh, there's, I think there should be more sorts of um, community events and things that are, you know, have the onus of bringing people together. Young people nowadays are so busy with uh, school or friends, that they seem to not go out into different communities and socialise with people. If they really, if they get really lost, then we can have some help. I think this city has changed a lot. I think it's got bigger, it's got more modern, it's got more culturally diverse. Um, whereas like 40, 50 years ago, it wouldn't have been like this. I don't think people are bothered. The area I live in, um, there's a lot of people from different backgrounds and I think they are really nice people. I live in like a flat and it's house, like it uh, has four flats in that. I've made loads of American friends and loads of Polish friends. Next to me live British old woman. People don't realise more and more people are coming to the city. Above us live Pakistani couple and uh, like next to them is Indian couple. The next black family which I know is probably there and the other one which I probably know is like maybe just down the block and that's about it really. Yeah, so in a way, in a racial sense of way, it's not the multicultural mix but it's it's getting there. I don't tend to going around with like a certain group of people. The college, the actual group there is all white, so can't do nothing about that. Hair is good, multicultural, there's different backgrounds, different countries. Quite a, a big like Kurdish community, oh, right. um, which, they have shops on Main Road, and also some Eastern Europeans. I really like it because here, like, you feel safe. Farsley is a very, very strong community. Even from the richer side of Farsley, they're still involved in community activities. The old people, the young people, the in-between people, everyone's involved. I've lived in Horsforth all my life, growing up in the park with my friends around. We do have like local shops really. It's kind of easy just to spend the whole week without even setting your foot in town. I think some people, they came here because all halal shop is around and there's like, most of them are Muslim here. You used to live in Amelie, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. How come you moved to Mortal? My parents want to send me in a good school, yes. Really, I don't like this area because... No, no people don't have respect for themselves, never yeah. mind other people. People are just like, you hear them shouting at like, any hour of the hour of the day, there's people outside arguing and shouting yeah. and they've got no respect and like, it's quite racist. It is quite close knit and there's no like tension and you can come to the park on a Saturday and there'll be a variety of ages here and it'll still be understood that the younger 
generation all like to play football and have a laugh with their friends, but the older generation might just like to sit on the benches and have a natter. This team is one of the uh, multicultural um, places you can find in Leeds. I wouldn't say Beeston is a bad area, but I would say it occasionally is a bad area. If you go down that road, um, that's the Dewsby Road, you will see loads of shops from different places. You see the Polish shop, you see the Ghanaian shop, you see, you see the Mexican shop, you see, I'm talking about, you see the Indian shop, loads of them. That tells you how multicultural Leeds is. Just getting bored of seeing the same people. But if I meet people in like other races, I can learn about their cultures and like different things. I want to know about the world, where people, what kind of people live in other places. Oh, you learn different things. It's very interesting meeting people from different backgrounds and areas. It could have a bad impact on me because I could try and not be myself. It makes me feel sad because of what background they've got. You meet people and you want to impress them, so you go out of your way to impress them, but that's not really you. Once you see where people are coming from, you see why might why they might think the way they do. So is the tension between cultures here? It's just mainly Asian cultures that they don't get along with. Do you think that is to do with like, the bombings which happened? And then also like the media kind of like going on and on about that? Maybe. I I don't I, I don't have a problem with any different race. It's just people have their own opinions if and most of them don't like Asians. Some yeah. people might hear something bad about a certain area and might think, oh, if I go there, I'll get shot down or something like that. <laughs> so it's like that fear, really. Some of the things I've heard about Hair Hills, like people starting fights and stuff like that, it's just not a place I'd like to live. But well, you heard of it, but have you seen it? Well, for me, it's a, obviously a big contrast between where I live and here, due to the fact that obviously this is quite central to the city, it's quite busy. Compared to horses, it's quite quiet. OK, what would be your main reason for not wanting to live in Hales? Just for the simple fact that... Uh, the simple fact of the stories I've heard. Just okay. the stories. OK, so just the stories about people getting stabbed and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, you've been to Beeston, right? Yeah. And what do you think about Beeston? Uh, Beeston is, like, completely different to Hair Hills. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it depends who you talk to though. Yeah. Most people would say Beeston is the same. I feel, I feel part of Leeds now, I feel part of Beeston. Now that you've seen it, what's your opinion about it? Uh, yeah, it has actually changed my opinion. It's like made me think that I could live around here, but it's still a choice that I wouldn't make. <laughs> I don't feel that I get lost in in this crowd of diverse people. I think that it's a good thing because you get to share who you are with other people, you get to learn from other people. I think my church was quite very quite welcoming, you know, because it's like we got here and then the first thing probably my family did was probably find a local church and I still go there now and then. Well actually well actually every Sunday really. My faith I think is part of what defines me. So I think that, in general, it doesn't really restrict or define what I do. It just defines who I am as a person. It's really good, my faith, uh, because if you're struggling through your faith, you know you've got somebody there to, to help you. I try my hardest to try and be a better Muslim, be a better person, things like that. Um, I'd, say, I'd say it's interesting because because obviously in neighbourhoods like this, there'll be quite a lot of people. There'll be quite a lot of people who go to church. Like this, that there's, there's a church now just down there, and there's there's like a, it's got like an African community there. How do you want people to come and say, are you Indian, are you British, or sort of things? Well, a lot of people say, oh, you look Oriental, yeah. so like Chinese, <laughs> Nepal, Singapore, Vietnam. But um, I don't know. It's like people's first judgments, really. I know, like. Um, if you fill in forms, like you do have to fill in a lot of forms in a lifetime, there's like a box that says how would you best describe yourself and in that box you can tick whatever you think you fit into. Um, so I'd say 
Well, I am a British citizen, so if there was a, I'd tick um, Indian British. But then some people wouldn't tick themselves as British because that's not where they was from. Obviously, knowing each other about the back, uh, the background and the culture, as you say, it's really good because if you know each other and you know the background, it's good to express it to other people. Standing out can attract positive attention or negative attention. So if someone sees you different, you could get picked on, but then again, if someone sees you different, they might want to know you because you're different. Sometimes I don't think, you know, coming from a different background or culture could, you know, could lead to you being picked on, you know, like, you know, because you, you, you just get bullies randomly from almost every single school. But for me, it was different because it's like, people actually want to know more about me than the other way around. I met people from different areas in Leeds now. I, I do want to build um, a strong relationship with the guys. Hopefully I can build on those relationships and continue to, to meet up with the people that I've, I've met. Take a contact number or maybe uh, meet them sometime for lunch. Basically I'll probably just get all the Facebooks and then we'll just communicate that way. Being in Leeds and not um, living far away from each other, we can um, I can always um, plan together something. My home's always open to like to anyone who wants to come and uh, come and have a visit and talk. Hopefully, there'll be a chance to actually have conversations with the rest of the people that I didn't manage to have conversations with. I would make more communities so people will get to know each other and make relationships. Then be friends with them. That's. All. Now I knew new things about areas, about Beeston. Yeah, yeah I go. can't. <laughs> Beeston, yeah. yeah. It's got more culturally diverse. We do have like local shops where it's kind of easy just to spend the whole week without even sitting the foot in town. We have some events here sometimes, and those are normally quite good because you get a lot of people, different people coming out, and those are the kind of things that um that should that should, that should be that should, that should be happening basically. Once a year, there is a big community festival called the Father Festival, which this year is on the 17th of July. And that brings round like 2,000 to 3,000, 4,000 people. The event called Unity Day at Hyde Park, I always go there and I think that the people that perform there, like local artists, I think they're very inspirational. Leeds and especially Hay Hills is somewhere I feel I, I, I like it because obviously not just the fact that it's in a city and it's stuff going on, but the fact that, you know, this multicultural and things like that. I don't think all the places that I've lived were as multicultural as Leeds, as here, and for some reason I really like that a lot. <laughs>